Hi everyone, Kelly here, and today you might notice I have a different background. I'm actually visiting my parents for a couple weeks, and my mom has quite the extensive library, as you can probably see. Um, this room has like, I don't know, six bookshelves full of books, so it's kind of the perfect <laughs> backdrop to do a video in. And this video is kind of a little different. Today I want to do a book review for a self-help book that is about minimalist fashion and then I want to go through and make myself a capsule wardrobe based off of this book I'm talking about um, and so I already actually pre-filmed that at home me doing the capsule wardrobe but I first wanted to introduce the book and give a short review about it. So the title of the book that I read was Project 333 The Minimalist Fashion Challenge That Proves Less Really Is So Much More by Courtney Carver. And like I said this is kind of like a self-help non-fiction book. Um, it's really short. It, it probably, I think the audiobook was less than four hours, so it was a quick read. And I heard about this on a podcast, um, a parenting podcast. So lately I've been listening to some positive parenting podcasts. One is called Simple Families. I'm going to link that down below because I really enjoy it. She does both positive parenting and talks about minimalism as well. So kind of combines those two um, lifestyles together. So if you are a parent that's interested in that, I'll link it down below. But she had a guest on, she had Courtney Carver, who is this author, um, to talk about Project 333 and what it is. So basically this challenge is that for three months, which is the first three in the title, she picked 33 items for a wardrobe and only wore those 33 items for three months. So Project 333. And she did this because she just felt like there was um, too much stuff in her closet. It was taking her too long to get ready. She was feeling stressed and anxious about things in her, in, that she had that were didn't fit her anymore or that she didn't enjoy, but she paid too much money, money for and all that stuff. Um, and so this was just to simplify things. And um, I it just sounded really interesting from the podcast, sounded like something I wanted to do because I'm going to sh show you something that is pretty shameful. So before I did this project and before my husband and I kind of discussed that we wanted to work on organizing places in our house, um, I want to show you what our closet looked like before I started this project. So we've lived in our house for a year and I'm ashamed to say that this is what our master closet looked like before I started this project. And it was just a mess of like clothes, boxes that we hadn't fully unpacked that had some clothes in them, but also had like decor from our previous bedroom and just random inbox stuff that got thrown in our closet to close it away. And we just weren't even able to walk in our closet, as you can tell from the picture. And I was like, this is ridiculous. You know, we've lived here for a year. We should be able to clean this up and have a working closet. And so um, my husband didn't do Project 333, but he went through and cleaned his stuff. I did this project to minimize my wardrobe, and then we just like sorted out all the other stuff. Um, and, but going back to the book, basically what she's talking about in here is to look through your stuff and notice that like you probably only wear 20% of the clothes that you own. And that's kind of like a statistic. I don't know where she got that from, where she cited it from. I'm sure it's cited in her book, but that that is like most people only wear that much. And so why do we fill our closets and dressers with extra stuff? And it just like adds to our anxiety and things like that. Um, and that's basically what the book talks about. There is other parts. She talks about minimalizing in other parts of your life. And also she talks about what to do with the other clothes. Like you don't have to get rid of them. You can box them away. And then when the next three months come around, you can look at them again and see if you missed anything. And then she talks about, you know, getting rid of stuff if you feel comfortable with that. But she's not like forcing you to get rid of your stuff or anything like that. It's just to try for three months and see how it makes you feel to have a more minimalistic wardrobe. So basically my review of the book, I think I gave it four stars. I really enjoy organization books, like books about minimalism, books about decluttering and stuff like that. It's just something that I really enjoy listening to while I'm cleaning. I'm like weird like that. It's like I'm cleaning the house. It gives me motivation. So I enjoyed listening to this book. Do I think it needed to be a whole book? I mean, she does have a blog. You probably could get all of the information about doing this project from her blog. But if you're like me and you just like to throw on an audiobook while you're cleaning and feel inspired, I think it was 
kept me interested the whole time and what she was talking about she also talked about packing on a trip and stuff like that so that you would um pack more minimalist like instead of taking like so much stuff with you on a trip which we actually tried this this time we only packed enough clothing for four days we're here for two weeks and i was like oh we're only gonna pack for four days and we're just gonna do laundry along the way and it has worked out perfectly i actually probably brought more because i brought more for the kids you know and i actually brought more than i needed even with only packing for like four days at a time so i think there's some really good information and stuff that you can use in your everyday life so if you are somebody that likes these kind of books i would highly suggest it because it is short and easy to get through the audiobook is narrated by her and i just think it was easy to listen to and get through so that's my quick review. I don't have a lot to actually say about this book. I really want to get to just showing you how I created my condensed minimalist wardrobe for the next three months. So I'm going to send you off to Kelly of the past to do that. The only thing was that I didn't tell you kind of the specifics in that video, but basically when she talks about 33 items, she means like anything in your wardrobe. So that's jewelry, shoes, purses, and clothes anything that's visible that you would wear like out of the house um and, but so she doesn't include things like pajamas underwear socks stuff that other people wouldn't see workout clothes as long as you're not wearing your yoga pants to go on all your errands then you don't have to count them because they're specifically for that activity um so there are certain things that are not included in this list. It's just the stuff you would wear out. And you're probably saying, well, it's probably easy to do this challenge when we're in the middle of COVID and you're not going out much. And I tried really hard to not even have that be part of what I was thinking about. I was just like, I'm not going to like load up on the loungewear and things that I would wear around my house. I'm just going to view this as if COVID wasn't really happening and these would be the clothes that I would normally wear out and about at this time of year. So hopefully that's enough of an intro so you can kind of figure out how this project works. And now I will send you off to Pass Kelly to show you how I organized my minimalistic wardrobe. All right, so I'm going to start the, the part of this video where I'm going to pull out all of the cool weather clothing that I own because I'm developing my wardrobe for October, November, December, and in Ohio, that's cold weather. Um, or at least like cooler into cold weather. And I'm just gonna pull everything out from my closet and my dresser, put it here, and then start sorting through and pick out hopefully 33 items to do for this. Okay, I'm not sure, can you, see i always feel like i have thought of myself as not someone that owns a lot of clothes because i don't go shopping that often but obviously just <laughs> i've accumulated clothes over the time and i don't wear most of these just like she says in her book i probably only actually wear maybe 30 percent of these clothes so i'm going to sort through them now and kind of figure out what items i actually really enjoy wearing things that don't fit i'm going to get rid of and try to condense this down quite a bit. Okay, so my first just go through and just like really like took out stuff that I know I just don't really wear on a regular basis. Doing that, just initial one, didn't really like take time to go to details. I ended up with 46 items. So that's not bad, I think, for a first go through. And now I'm not going to show you this because this, this section will probably take a lot of like putting things next to each other and really like thinking through. So I'm going to come back in a little bit and tell you what I've gotten it down to because I want to get my clothes down to at least like... 20 to 25 because included in this that she includes like shoes accessories like scarves jewelry all that so I just want to give myself some leeway for that like I don't use a lot of accessories 
Um, but I do love scarves. So I want to be able to keep myself some space for some scarves, some boots, stuff like that. So 46 items though, not too bad for a first run through. Okay, so I got it narrowed down and I'm glad I didn't leave the camera going for that because it would have just even sped up to like times 20 speed. It would have been a lot of me just staring at the clothes because that's what I did a lot of times. I just really had a hard time narrowing it down, especially my scarves. I just like scarves because I would have to say most of my clothes are kind of the same color. Like I wear black a lot and so scarves are the way I kind of accessorize because I don't wear jewelry really um so it took me a lot to get down on my scarves the other thing that really tricked me up was my leggings um it took me a long time to really think about the fact that i don't need 10 pairs of leggings that how many days are there in a week i do laundry more than once a week and i don't need that many leggings and i especially don't need five pairs of black leggings that it just isn't necessary especially at the rate that we do laundry I just don't need it. Um, but I had to talk myself into that. So I got it down to including my shoes and scarves, 33 items. But I realized as I was like counting and figuring and getting it all narrowed down, I have 33 items here, but I have two things in the wash and I am going to keep them. So in total, I have 35 items. In her book, she says 33 is not any special number. That's what she had because it was like three months, 33 items. She wanted to make it like a catchy number, but she says perfectly fine for you to have 35, 40 and staying in that range. But like you do what you need to. And I know that I'm going to wear all of these items of clothing, including those two things in the wash. So I think I'm going to just go with the fact that I'm going to have 35 items. All right. And so let me just go through real quick in case you wanted to see what I'm keeping. So I have dresses because a lot of what I wear is with leggings i wear either dresses or long sleeve shirts with leggings and since like october will still be somewhat warm enough that i might occasionally want to wear short sleeves i do not keep any t-shirts because i know i won't be wearing them come like the later winter so what i did was kept short sleeve dresses that in later months i could throw a sweater over and maybe wear them more so i kept three short sleeve dresses that I wear pretty often. And then I also have one in the wash. That's what it is. I have a maroon short sleeved dress that I wear all the time. That is my other item I kept. And then I have one long sleeve, just plain maroon dress. And I kept this one because if we end up being able to go back to church later in this year, I don't know what's going to happen with COVID. But if we do go back to church, this was the dress I wear at church like all the time. And I would just throw on a scarf and dress it up or boots and that would be like my dress outfit so I decided to keep that in terms of scarves I got it down to four scarves so I have my black scarf that I wear all the time my plain red one I had to have a Christmas one because it'll be Christmas time during this three months and then one kind of nicer scarf that I also wear at Christmas time but also this is the one that I wear with my maroon dress or the black dress at church to dress it up if we end up going back to church by Christmas time. And then in terms of long sleeve t-shirts, I have actual like long sleeve t-shirts. I kept four, three are like purely kind of casual that I would just wear every day. Um, and then I have one that's a little nicer in the fact that I would wear it with a scarf and could dress it up a little bit. And then I have all these long sleeve t-shirts that are like long, that th these I wear with leggings and I kept six of these and I have them in like black and green and blue and there really are the staple of my wardrobe those with leggings I wear all the time and the kind of indulgence I gave myself was black sweaters I have three black sweaters I know that seems excessive but like some are thinner and some are thicker so just depending on the weather I wear a different type of sweaters so I kept all three and I wear these either with those dresses or with the like shirts that I wear with leggings. So I do wear all three of the black sweaters. And then I kept my red sweater that I wear all winter, but that I especially wear it at Christmas time. So definitely need to keep that. In terms of pants, I only kept three leggings out of the 10. I kept two black leggings and one um, maroon. 
because some of my shirts are black so that way instead of wearing all black I can wear color on the bottom and then I only kept one pair of jeans because really since COVID has started I have barely worn jeans I kind of feel like that's going to continue because when I'm sitting around the house I don't really wear jeans I'd rather wear leggings um, but if I am going to go out somewhere I might want to wear jeans and along with that when I wear my jeans I usually wear one of these two like fleece kind of sweatshirt type of shirts and then I kept two actual fleeces that I use as jackets. So a black one, a purple one. And that's the other thing I have in the wash. I have a blue one in the wash and I wear those all the time. Like I wear them even with nicer clothes if I'm just gonna be lounging around the house or you know, whatever with my t-shirts if I'm out. So there you go. And then I have one tank top because I wear that underneath my sweaters or whatever. Like I'll wear it under this sweater. And then I only kept three pairs of shoes. So I have my like snowy casual boots that I wear, um, my more dressy long boots, and then I have a pair of tennis shoes. I have my tennis shoes on right now, but these tennis shoes have holes in them. So I'll probably buy another one. She says in the book, don't worry. You're not really supposed to buy new things during that three months, but if you're replacing something that's ripped or broken, that's fine. So at some point I'll replace these tennis shoes, but until they can, they, these are where I wear like out around the house like outside here so they don't need to be the nicest so i'll just wait until they kind of completely fall apart before i replace them so that's it 35 items i did not go through my jewelry because i don't really wear jewelry that much and so i just didn't know if i would really which i would really wear so instead of like getting rid of all my jewelry i'm just gonna leave it where it is it hangs on my wall i have a jewelry hanger if I put it all away, it would look silly to have a jewelry hanger on my wall. So I'm just going to say, that's like art. And if I wear the jewelry, I'm not going to stress about it as part of this project. Like this project is not meant to be stressful. It's just supposed to be showing that you can live with less stuff. I still will have only 35 like other items of clothing and stuff like that. I know she in her book also included like coats and hats and gloves and I'm just not gonna do that. I live in a place that's really cold. So you need to have winter clothes and hats and gloves. And I'm just gonna realize that that's gonna put me up into like 40 items or something like that. And it's fine because that it's just stuff you have to wear at this part of the country. And I'm not going to stress about it. I know I'm gonna wear all these items of clothing. So like I said, I'm not gonna stress about the number 33. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed the process of me going through my whole closet and dresser and only keeping I think it was it ended up being 35 items instead of 33 and I didn't actually include any purses or jewelry because I only use one purse ever in my life I only keep one purse at a time and I don't wear jewelry on a daily basis as you guys probably know so I did include those two things but I did include my shoes in my count and I hope you enjoyed that whole process seeing how I did it. What I have done with all of my other winter type clothing is I put it all in a suitcase, including all my other shoes that I didn't pick. And I put it up stairs in our like guest room. And in December, if I am not missing any of those clothes and I don't feel like there's anything I want to pull out of there back in my wardrobe, I'm just going to donate that entire bag of stuff um, and be rid of it. Cause if I go three months without desiring anything from there, it's obvious that I just don't need it in my life. And it just makes me happy now to go into my closet. I'm going to remind you of what our closet looked like before we started organizing everything last week. Um, yes, the mess that was our closet shamefully. And this is what it looked like after I did project 33 and my husband went through all his stuff and we organized all the boxes in here. Now it looks beautiful. There's lots of space. I just feel like much better going in there and knowing I can just grab like a sweater and a shirt and a pair of pants and like have it all easy right there, not having a bunch of options. And it just feels good. So like I said, if I don't miss any of these things, they're gonna be gone from my life. And it feels good. What about you guys? Do you enjoy these kind of like organization challenges to get like I know there's so many of them out there and like uh, you know capsule wardrobes are like a big thing right now um and I'm just wondering how other people feel do you try some of these challenges do you declutter regularly in your house are you trying to like 
get rid of more of your wardrobe now that you're at home more often with COVID and everything. I'd love to talk to you more down below and I will see you next time. Bye.